Hey guys, it's Avi, and in today's video, I'm going to be looking at some solutions for small YouTubers with the SEO space and the channel tags and some analytics as well. And I'm not going to be using the default YouTube analytics because that's a given and that doesn't have some special things that uh, vidIQ or TubeBuddy have. So take a look at the channel analytics in general for this, but it's not the main purpose. That's general, you see I have 58 subscribers, but the idea is to do this for a random channel and then you could see some cool things and use with trending velocity, views per hours, that's pretty interesting. Uh, they, they all have their different sections, these are my channel tags. And so let's go into a video, I guess. Oh, just go into the reverse fidget spinner video, and then we could see more channel analytics and which tags I use and more of how I rank. So let's go, it's probably better to actually go through the edit videos. Okay, so here's the video analytics for TubeBuddy. And since I'm using a lot of extensions, at the same time it does slow it down, so it's just something that you have to deal with. I generated tags and I was, they have another method of doing things where you compare with other channels and you try to take their views by using their same tags. So this is a well-known tactic. It didn't score very well, but there's not a lot of reverse spins or camera tricks with the fidget spinner. So in my views, it got like the top page, which isn't bad since I only have 58 subscribers and this video is 200 views. I'm just gonna take you guys to the video manager because that'll give you more access. But here finally, the vidIQ, I guess it either takes longer to load or it's not as high in the queue. It does show you the views and like if person's part of an MCN and creator suggested is basically that if your other videos show up in the related feed and uh, it's now being said that that matters a lot as part of the algorithm and then it also tracks your shares and likes and engagements which is very cool so the devices that it's viewed on and some countries and uh, I did a 70 SEO score so that's pretty good I'll go with the Air Force one since I just put that up a few minutes ago. And then I have some uh, some scheduled videos because I want to maintain like at least one video a week, which is not ideal, but I don't want to overwork it or I guess do one week with video a day. So I just spread out my uploads. Here are the tags and let it load because this is pretty good actually. So I also match the tags in the title description to the 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 title and the description to this. Like it'll notice that you said it more than once and then it will hopefully give you a better rank. My only qualm about using two of these extensions at once is when I'm watching YouTube or when I'm managing my channel and I wanna just do something quickly. It takes a while, so I usually go on another computer. You see the task has become unresponsive. Here's what I was mentioning before about the, what do you, about like, just trying to take someone's views or videos to gain views from and it noted it gets recent uploads and with similar tags also but it noticed that you're missing some but like president modi visiting israel add a few tags and this idea is just mainly for seo and if a user searches it doesn't it's not the end all be all we can do social media searches and get views through other that IQ can't load. And it says I'm not ranking in any of these. It's, I'm not surprised since there's a lot of videos of this nature and I also only started to go. And that's my primary uses of these two uh, extensions and that's what they should be. But TubeBuddy also creates a few other things like the, I was using their create a thumbnail, see if this loads. And instead of using like Photoshop and then uploading it, this offers some sense of ease because you could take like a still frame from the video and then add a few things on top of it. But for the basic version, it does not include a lot. But I, I was using it in a few of my videos and let's see, vidIQ actually has one also. Thumbnail editor, which is very similar. Uh, I noticed vid, vidIQ is usually a bit more generous with all their offerings and I used, uh, let's go into cards, I guess. The end screens is 
are easy because I set it up once and then I import it and then I just move it over and change a video or two and that I don't need any of these extensions for but the cards are very useful since I usually put four and there's a maximum of five in each video and they're usually just related videos and then I put a uh, link to my app in the Play Store and then maybe one more thing but uh, with the two buddy templates which are pretty annoying is that uh, they s they show up they feel like they're in the free version but they're not and then they try to charge you for it so with this one I could I actually this is the first time I used the vidIQ template in this video so I did it all and then I pressed saved and then I could go into another video and press load and take it there and then I could just make some minor changes. And so that's another major bonus. Uh, and then I haven't found a solution for, I guess, generating or paying someone to do good subtitles, but that's also a very good way to get SEO. So if you have time and if your videos are short, then it might be good to do the subtitles in your main language. And then Google usually automatically translate into another one, or if you have some friends, then you could do that. Or even if you use a translator app yourself, it'll appear that there's more languages and more interest, and then the video as will be raised in the ranks. And I guess I'll close off today with also that we're playing against the black box algorithm that uh, the idea is that we're, we don't know exactly what's happening behind the scenes, but there's so many YouTubers that guess and they try different methods to it's either play the system or try to at least find out how to get ranked well. So there's one thing that I actually said that your video names and the odd and the sorry the custom thumbnail names matter a lot because it's just more information and metadata that this algorithm takes into account apparently. So example, this one I just wrote Air Force.mp4 when I was saving it in Premiere Pro. But if I added more like Israel Air Force graduation show, then it'll show that my content is more relevant and it's not like without reason that I just put it there and made the name. And the same with the thumbnail. Uh, and that's just another hint for more SEO. I'm still playing the system, but I tried for this channel was set up since 2010, but I haven't been using it so much, and my friend and I have been putting different content on it, so we didn't take it seriously till about this year because we want to have another medium for our apps and content. So I'm, like I said, I'm still figuring out the system, but I'm like halfway into it that I, I have a decent amount of subs and channel views, but I'm trying to raise that, like grow my... So, Thank you for watching guys, please leave a comment and some, and like the video and have a nice day.